On March 13th, Kenneth Goldsmith um, read in Rhode Island at Brown University, and he read Michael Brown's autopsy report. Goldsmith is known for his um, uncreative writing, its conceptual writing. Brown is known for being killed by police in Ferguson, Missouri. It's not always easy to tell if a patient is conscious or what their level of consciousness is. Um, so when jostling and, and talking to a patient don't elicit a response, uh, the next step is pain stimulus, which is often administered as a sternal rub, which is something like grinding the breastbone. It hurts and it causes bruises, but it doesn't create consciousness. It is a tool for assessing consciousness. Michael Brown's autopsy report isn't art. Goldsmith's presentation of Michael Brown's autopsy report isn't art. The effect that this has is the art. Positive reactions and negative reactions to Kenneth Goldsmith's reading um, abound. Just like look on Twitter and it, lots of people are upset that he would present this as if it was art. Um, people are saying things like he's not entitled to it, he's um, using it to profit, and I am very interested in these reactions. Because those reactions are showing us consciousness. It's showing that people are not done being upset about Michael Brown and what happened in Ferguson. People are not done talking about it. People are not done feeling about this situation. What Goldsmith achieved with this piece is showing and assessing our consciousness. That's how conceptual art works. So I'm not going to say that you shouldn't be upset at Kenneth Goldsmith. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't be upset at how he edited the report and rearranged things and changed words and ended on a very strange note. I'm not going to say that he's entitled to do this. I'm not going to say that his race has anything to do with his entitlement or lack of entitlement to present this. What I will say is that it's conceptual art. It is pain stimulus. It doesn't do anything except for assess our consciousness. It's a tool. And with conceptual art, every single reaction validates that art, creates the artistic experience of the presentation of the conceptual art. So whatever you feel about Kenneth Goldsmith, he has made an effective piece. And I stand by its presentation.